Roderick Justice be our guest. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Put our service to the test. Indeed. Yes. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Delicious. It yes. is. It's so good. <laughs> and this show is so good. And I, I keep thinking about because you've done productions of this show in the past. But I feel, is this the first time you've done a production of this since the live action movie came mm. out? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, this is the first uh, time we've revisited Beauty and the Beast in like 10 years. Yeah. And I, I just... So now you'll have sort of different generations coming at it with sort of a different frame of reference. Right. Do you, you, have, you know what I mean? You have those who love the, of course, the, the, classic, the classic story. Yeah. And you have those who love the film, the, the first animated film. Yeah. Those who were reintroduced when it came to Broadway. And then this new live action remake. And yeah. we're, we're just kind of putting it all together <laughs> into one of, one of my favorite stage shows of all time. Well, and. You obviously have live action because it's live theater, but Correct. the way you're doing it is a little different as well. You're utilizing puppets as part of this, right? Correct. We wanted to kind of echo that that love of the um, oh. the animated oh, film, Look at but it. also we have to understand that people were introduced to this new film, and the objects were. Uh, Traditionally, the size of a clock and a candlestick and a feather, and a feather duster, and so um, we have these oh. black light infused oh. puppets that are so animated and such a Look at mesmerizing and hypnotizing uh, way to tell the story. So you're, you're looking at these puppets built by Frisch Marionettes. Kevin Frisch is amazing. He is. But um, we're, we're telling it in a new way that is a little more intimate. We're, it, we're, with the set is not as vast as it, as it was when you may have seen um, you know, Beauty and the Beast on, on tour or oh. Beauty and the Beast the last time we've done it. it it's, it's a way oh. to tell the story in... Um, uh, a new a new way that you've never seen before. What's it like so for the other performers on the stage to act with the puppets? So many of our um, actors have puppetry experience, but also some of them have never touched a puppet in their life. And yeah. so um, uh, they are getting trained. They're learning how to act through an inanimate object. Um, but uh, they uh, these these puppeteers that we have on these uh, these characters are so talented. It, it's a new challenge when you're casting a show to say, I need someone who can sing, act, do the dialect, <laughs> and then operate a puppet. A um, oh. So it is such a fun show, a new way. If you've, if you've seen Beauty and the Beast many, many times, you'll definitely want to come see this show because it is told in a way you've never seen before. Oh. Well, you also choreographed the show, and so we're seeing a little bit of you know, yes. some of the movement there. Can you, can you talk about choreographing puppets? That is a puppets? whole right. new level of choreography where, uh, you know, I've directed puppet uh, versions of shows, but to choreograph a show when now you have a, you traditionally have a kick line and be our guest. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if my uh, inanimate object can kick because he's, he's a candlestick. Um, <laughs> but it's a whole new way of trying to choreograph a kick line for, with inanimate objects. I cannot wait So we talk about the actors who are controlling the puppets. What about the the actors who don't have puppets who have to interact, interact with the with with the with Cogsworth exactly. and with Lumiere? Do you know what I mean? Because I, I, I would be, my eyes I feel like would puppets. be drawn to the person controlling the puppet and not the puppet. But you've so, got to make sure. So that's why we have this black light infusion. So it's basically if you've never heard of black light, it's like a glow in the dark. Uh, uh, it's a type of paint that when you hit it with certain UV light, they pop. Yeah. But then our actors who are live, like the Beast and Belle in the Enchanted Castle, sometimes Maurice yeah. when he's trapped in there for a while, are followed by a spotlight. So they are in real light while everyone else is in black light, but they're not completely in black, black light because the puppeteer is in the version of their costume that they are enchanted at the end of the show to be coming to life, oh. but it does not glow. So that when you hit it with stage lights, you see their true form, but when they are in black light, you just see you the can't. silhouette. Oh. Are we able to see the video again that, that, that we oh. saw first where we see them um, lit up? Because one of the cool things that I thought about that was when I was watching it, and I've seen some of your shows before where you've used puppetry, is that at first you think, oh, I'm just going to focus on the person behind it, but you don't. As I was watching this, I totally didn't even see yes. the person in the black behind them, mm -hmm. um, which is, says a lot about you know the puppet 
puppetry and, and the, the design of it because you just totally lose track that there's an actual person back there. Correct. And, and but they're going to be costumed as their their enchanted character. They're just now in a new form. They're they're always present. Yeah. And now they're not hidden by a giant, you know, Cogsworth costume or a, co a puppet, right. a, for, uh, or a, a not a puppet, but a, a costumed teapot uh, with a face. Now they're in their enchanted look, but they're just in the the background. Speaking um, of face, Cogsworth's face looks I like know. a screen. Like it, it, it looks, looks so, animated. Yeah, it, 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 it so looks animated. so good. I can't. I can't, Kevin, Kevin Frisch, he's unbelievable. He's he? amazing, he, yes. He is unbelievable. And, uh, Look at Lumiere. Lumiere yeah. lights up. He's got those um, great, oh, great I love uh, it. I flame just, lights that mm. that just make everything pop. It is such a fun show. It's enchanting not only, if you've never been to the Children's oh. Theater before, I, I just wanted to make it very clear, this is professional adults. Um, it's theater for children and children at heart, like all of us. All of us. Big kids, <laughs> come on. Um, but it, we see so many people on date nights and Beauty and the Beast, yeah. Perfect date It'll be a night. Great one. It's a it's a great you time. You know all the songs. You know yeah. all the songs, and it's yeah. it's an hour and and a, yes. a few minutes long. It, which is it, another nice thing when you take kids. Yes. You know, especially like my son. Uh, I've right. taken him before. Which sometimes their attention spans when they're littler don't last beyond sure. an hour. So you guys know that and work with that, and no, it's, it's great. Mm. So yeah, we're really. You know, we're here for the child and the child at heart. We want to make mm -hmm. you feel like you're 70 again. If you even, even if you don't have kids, come see us. Now you those know? are previous photos. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're looking back at some some previous productions yeah. of it uh, in, in some of these pictures. What else is coming up for mm. you guys after this? So after um, Beauty and the Beast, we have Santa Claus the Musical, which Star I hear yes, stars in Mr. Brown Herzog. Santa is yeah. in the room. <laughs> I need to get a copy of the script <laughs> <laughs> because I really, I really need to start looking at that and pretty soon. Is it the same one you did a couple years ago where I came to see him? Oh yes, he was yeah. fantastic. It's, you, it's of sort of Santa in training a it's little bit. It's very fun. Yes, it's so which, much yeah. fun. Followed by Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat, which um, also stars Bob Herzog. Yeah, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's, we're uh, doing a collaboration with the Cincinnati Circus Company. Um, That's so going to be wild. It's going to be so much fun. We did that a few years ago with uh, when we did uh, the junior version of Disney's Aladdin and, and incorporated the company with them. And then we'll close the season with uh, Disney's Frozen. Yeah, again, Junior. I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just not, that's not one that's that people It's really know. cool. Yeah. Oh, 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 see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, I like good, it. Uh, okay, so <laughs> what, when do we open? How many shows? All, all the details yes. for we Beauty open and the Beast. Tomorrow. This, okay. That is on Saturday. Uh, we have two shows on Saturday, one on Sunday. Then next weekend, we go Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have a Friday night show. Two on Saturday at 11 and 2, and one on Sunday at 2 p.m. Boy, doesn't does a late afternoon show and then go get something to eat and then go to Blink go to sound Blanca like a perfect. heck of a good way to I spend mean, a Saturday? Perfect time timing. Down. Yeah. yeah even, even that 7 o'clock show, it's good perfect timing to come to the show, get out of the show at around 8, 8, 15, and then enjoy Blink. Yep. Lit up perfect, perfect for you. Awesome. Thank you for coming right. in. Thank um, you for having me. Copy that script. I'm yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.